What's up, Cypress Bay? I'm Alex Land. And I'm Alyssa Wheelock, and Aftershock starts now. for the way you look. Save that for the Valentine's Grams. What's that? It's an annual fundraiser organized by the Chorus Club. Here's Logan with the story. You light up my world like nobody else. You flip your love is in the air this season, and with the holiday centered around the heart, there certainly is a lot of racking the brain on how Chorus is preparing for their annual Valentine's Day Grams. Okay, so basically we'll f we would first start off with you know deciding the group of people to sing in the past we've done only seniors but this year we're doing uh you know more juniors we have one freshman who's doing it and everything so it's it's starting to like grow in a sense but first we'll decide like who the, be the best people to perform it and then after that we'll decide the song so this year we decided to do the song uh beautiful by one direction so that that song process goes uh, through Mr. Franks, our director, and after we, we do decide all that, we'll decide like the costumes, what we want to wear, and then that then goes into the rehearsals, the practice, the uh, perfecting it. Buying roses and chocolates are the go-to gifts when thinking about Valentine's Day, but Chorus aims to create an experience that truly shows how much one can care for another. I think in, it shows that that someone really admires and wants another person, likes like is so in touch with someone else that they're fine with embarrassing them in front of the whole class. I think this, that just kind of brings a joy to it. The household saying may be actions speak louder than words, but when the words are sung to you in front of a class full of your peers, you really learn the meaning of love. Logan Selig, CB TV. most people, after graduating high school, they immediately go into a four-year college. However, there are different paths that graduates can take. Here's Oliver with some more information. Following high school, the typical pathway for many graduates is to jump right into the workforce or pursue a higher level education. However, for some students, the road ahead may not be so clear. Well, personally for me, because I've been meeting with parents over the years, parents have always expressed that that's their biggest concern once their child ages out of school or graduates. And we've only been able to offer them maybe a name or an email or a, you know, a card that we've received. So the ESC Post-Secondary Transition Expo is a very large expo that we put together so that all of the parents could have the resources, see the agencies, see the programs that would help their students when they transition to the world of work after high school. This informative night helped guide both students and parents on alternative options to ensure a brighter future. This absolutely helps families pull together all the resources that they need so their students, once they age out of school, have opportunities for employment, for recreation, for leisure. It offers them a one-shop kind of stop so that they can get all of the information rather than having to get it all on their own. Not only were those attending satisfied, but it was an opportunity for the staff arranging this event to see their hard work pay off. Our department has felt for a long time that this is something that we wanted to do, a very big event. So personally, it was um, gratifying for me to see the parents very happy and enthused about all of the people that we pulled together. And hopefully in the future, we'll be able to do it um, on that same level. At the end of the night, parents were left reassured and students were more driven to become successful. Oliver Sula, CB TV. Okay, okay. It's good. Sure, it's good. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this.
Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's okay. You're a savage. You're a savage. Alexa, play High Top Shoes by Jojo Siwa. It's stupid though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, <laughs> Say <laughs> I know. <laughs> Here's Alex with this week's mods. What's up, Cypher Spain? Today I'm going around asking students how they're gonna spice up their Valentine's Day. Today I got my best friend Roses every week, her Valentine's present. So I'm gonna give her the roses today because I won't see her on Thursday. Um, I'm probably just gonna be hanging out with friends. I might be chilling in a cabana in the Dominican Republic. I think I'm gonna ask this guy like out. Are you gonna do it in any sort of special way to surprise him or? No, I wrote it in like on the board in my math class. I'll be with my boys too. Yeah, you're, you're with friends and family, right? Still just enjoying your long weekend. How are you gonna spice up Valentine's Day for your girl this Friday? Damn, I don't even know. I got a couple's massage though. For me and my girl, and then we're gonna go to some dinner. I'm coming to school. I think I'm gonna go to Duffy's and spend him on my true Valentine, Coach Allen Held. We're gonna start a rock garden with rocks and pinwheels. If you haven't donated to Dollar Days, I suggest you donate. We're raising $5,000 for feeding children everywhere. And we're also collecting t-shirts to make dog toys for the Humane Society. Awesome, Valentine's Day is gonna be a great day here. It is, it is. It seems like you guys all had some pretty interesting and personal ideas for Valentine's Day. I'm Alex Greenberg, CBTV. That's all for this week's episode of Aftershock. If you want to watch previous episodes, visit us at cypressbaytv.com. And while you're at it, follow us on all of our social medias at cypressbaycbtv. I'm Alex Land. And I'm Alyssa Wheelock. Thanks for watching.